Perception can be reality, and for local law enforcement, what people think of you can mean a lot. It's the reason we reached out to the Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood. With recent high profile investigations and incidents being scrutinized by the public, we wanted to see does our Sheriff's Department have a negative public image? My crime fighting days at the street level are, are long past. When you think of the Kern County Sheriff's Department, it's hard not to think of Donnie Youngblood. I've worn a uniform my entire life. So I, I've really kind of grown up in, in, uh, in this department. Over the years, he's grown to the top of the ranks, now in his ninth year as sheriff. Obviously, I'm very proud of this department. It, me it means a great deal to me. I've been around here for longer than anybody now. Pride for a department that has undoubtedly faced its fair share of public relations challenges in recent months. You know, we have our, our, uh, our pitfalls. We, we, we hire from the human race, which gives us human beings. We sat down with him at his favorite Oildale coffee shop to talk about whether or not he thinks the sheriff's department has a bad public image. We've had accidents with, with the killing the community that, that we serve, and uh, um, that, that really pulls at, at my heartstrings because we're here to serve and protect the public. He's talking about Deputy John Swearingen, who hit and killed two oil dill residents in 2011, driving at a high rate of speed without lights and sirens while responding to a call. More recently, Nancy Garrett, a 72-year-old grandmother, was killed in a crash with a deputy responding to a non-emergency call in Oildale. The highest profile case in several years involved David Silva, who died while in custody on an East Bakersfield street corner. The department declined to discuss the case due to pending litigation, but Youngblood says, generally speaking, his department tries to do the right thing. We have our ups and downs, but 99% of the people who work in this organization are here. They want to serve the community. They want to do a good job. Sometimes uh, uh, the community does feel there's a disconnect. Marcus Duarte Smith, a professor at Bakersfield College, is concerned not only with reckless driving, but officer involved shootings and what he calls brutality. You see that people aren't being held accountable for their actions, then you think of more like this is a gang and they're operating under their own rules. These officers uh, aren't looking for the fight. They aren't looking for the shooting. They aren't looking for that stuff, but it happens like that. How do you think uh, this specifically East Bakersfield views deputies in this area? I would say we're in any area that you work, when law enforcement is related, you're going to have an element usually that's involved in some type of criminal activity that's never happy to see law enforcement presence in their neighborhood. Sergeant Jackie Newell says when an officer involved shooting happens or a high profile case plays out in the media, it makes working the streets that much harder. How do you deal with the folks that just plain out don't like you? It's just about mutual respect. I mean, we have to respect them and they have to respect us. We have a job to do. We're human right. beings, you know, bad things happen, but I, I take it from the perspective of trying to show a different side of law enforcement. And she is working with the SAL program to create positive contacts with deputies and their families. Side of this building was covered with gang graffiti. She also works to clear up graffiti and improve the look of East Bakersfield. Like on the east side, the west side. But Fahima Salahadin grew up in East Bakersfield and she says it'll take more than that. It seems as though the police police themselves and that's a big problem for people in the community. In recent years, there's been pressure on the department to form a citizen review board, a group of impartial individuals from the community tasked with looking into anything from allegations brought against an officer to shootings and in custody deaths. Youngblood has resisted the idea. Really, the, the, the simple answer to that is uh, back to we deal in law and the public deals in emotion. And I can see where an officer could be convicted or indicted uh, on an emotional standpoint when it's the law. For now, people like Marcus and Fahima remain hopeful that one day they'll be able to look at law enforcement differently. If the olive branch is put both by the community and the law enforcement, that, you know, bridges can be built and changes can be made. The law enforcement has to want it to get better. But they say that can only happen if the sheriff's department admits something is wrong. We, we're working really hard uh, at um, not changing our image because we think we have a good image. But, uh, you know, we, 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 we talked a few minutes ago about uh, being able to talk to people and communicate with people. Um, we, I think that's the biggest tool that we have. It, it, it's not the gun, it's not the, the badge, it's our ability to communicate. And Youngblood says they've taken measures to make sure deputies are driving safely. Last year, he ordered speed audit systems in every squad car. And if a deputy goes over the speed limit, it sounds an alarm and is reported to a superior.